Hi all of you I hope all of you write the exam that is CSIR NET December 2017 very well and uh, I hope uh, all of you get the success in it and uh, I'm very glad to share you that uh, my initiation that is chemmasters.online that is on important lectures so we get many questions uh directly or indirectly from my important lectures on chemmasters.online and also from my youtube channel chemmaster and we are going to start a new course for uh, june 2018 csir net exam from effectively from january 15 2018 with a moderate fee structure and uh, we are going to give a uh, complete syllabus wise um syllabus wise lectures with uh, uh tests okay All right and uh, one can get uh, lectures one can uh, view lectures of of uh, that uh, csir net throughout the six months from january 15th to uh, june exam of 2018 okay so there is no classrooms and no timings and uh, uh no spending of time on at the institutions okay so within your hands i'm going to give uh, uh i'm going to give the success that means we are going to work hard we are going to uh, research for your success on chemmasters.online and uh, already uh, due to the success of uh, my initiation on chemmasters.online so we are going to plan for big so if you are interested please uh, uh, visit my website and uh, get registration on it and uh, get a course on it thank you and just look at the question so which is given on csir net december 2017 The question is the pair that contains a spherical top and a symmetric top among the following is okay so the uh, options are first one CH4 and CH2Cl2 and second one CH2Cl2 and CH3Cl third one CH3Cl and CH4 and fourth one CH4 and C CH3 4 okay right and now if you observe uh, moment of inertia relations for a linear molecules we have ix is equal to iy and iz becomes zero so for linear molecules the example here i have given hcn and co2 etc linear molecules okay so just consider that uh, axis should be like that uh, x y z okay so for them i have given x y z on the notations of uh, moment of inertia okay so spherical top uh, for spherical top molecules ix equals to iy equals to iz the example for them or methane and carbon tetrachloride and if you observe symmetry top molecules we have two kinds of symmetry top molecules in that we have prolate symmetry top molecules and oblate symmetry top molecules if you observe prolate symmetric top molecules ix equals to iy and uh, it is greater than iz example is uh, chloromethane so that means prolate symmetry top molecules just like uh, cigars okay and uh, if you observe oblate symmetry top molecules ix equals to iy so that is less than iz so for this example is benzene that means they are just like cake like okay right and if you observe asymmetric uh, top molecules ix not equals to iy not equals to iz example is water okay right now just uh, uh, what is moment of inertia first we need to know it so if you observe it the summation of delta m r square so that is giving moment of inertia here so that m indicates a uh, pieces of mass of atoms of object uh, which is going to be considered for moment of inertia okay i next if you observe or here that is different distances or from the axis okay uh, right and just uh, look at the uh, molecule here and i have given with the x axis y and z axis okay so so okay just look at just imagine that if we rotate the molecule through a that is y axis okay so we are rotating the molecule through a so okay or that is y axis okay and then what happens uh, we have three molecules x y z okay so they can rotate 
that means in that we have different masses of atoms okay once again what is moment of inertia simply and how it will depends so moment of inertia depends on mass of the atoms which are rotating okay that means so just consider if uh, if we rotate a that means uh, any wheel that means a, a cycle wheel it is easy to uh, rotate that means we need a less amount of force to rotate it okay but if you observe a turbine uh, to rotate the turbine we need to use uh, 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 that means heavy force on it then only it can move or it can rotate that means what if uh, mass is more on the rotating molecules we need to apply more force to rotate it okay that means the for the that means the force and the mass in that acceleration simply gives moment of inertia okay okay one uh, just remember that mass and mass into acceleration of that rotation simply gives moment of inertia that means simply here uh, uh, if uh, atoms on the rotating axis uh, are large the moment of inertia should be large okay if the mass mass of atoms are less on the rotating axis then moment of inertia becomes less okay if the just uh, re uh, just remember these points okay now so if you rotate the molecule through a or y axis okay and here a should be greater because uh, on that y axis we have x so that is denoted with large circle that means it has heavy mass so to rotate it we need to apply more force on it so that's why moment of inertia uh, through the y axis or a it is greater okay right and if we rotate the molecule uh, through the b that is x axis okay when you observe the x axis uh, all the three other atoms on that axis are uh, smaller ones okay so i have given with uh, smaller circles that means the, the mass is very less uh, hence the uh, force we need to rotate it is uh, also should be less so that's why moment of inertia will be less on the b so that is ib must be less okay so in this two axis if we consider ia the moment of inertia through the y axis is greater than moment of inertia through the uh, x axis okay so that is what we conclude from this um, example okay by that we can uh, determine moment of inertia for a linear symmetry topic and uh, a spherical topic and asymmetric uh, topic molecules okay right now so just now come to our problem that is given in csir so in that we have given with the uh, methane one of the option in uh, option of it so if you observe methane it is completely tetrahedral okay so it is completely tetrahedral that means from the carbon all of the hydrogens are in equal distance and uh, one second remember that the distance that means r also uh, has a key role in in the determination of uh, moment of inertia that means uh, we, if we have a larger atoms with the heavy mass then uh, then the distance from the central atom that means uh, from the axis to that uh, large atom should be varies okay and uh, with that mass so that's why moment of inertia also depends on uh, r okay right and then so if you observe the methane here so just look at i have given with x axis with moment of inertia ia and uh, y axis with ib and z axis with ic so if you observe uh, uh, from the, if you rotate the molecule through the x axis so another three atoms uh, gets uh, equal positions on each rotations of 120 degrees okay and they are with similar mass three hydrogens have with equal mass and with equal distance to each other hence ia has some uh, moment of inertia okay and then if you observe why act through the y axis we have three uh, hydrogen atoms on the rotating axis y and they are also equal okay and if you observe if you rotate through the z axis and we have a uh, same uh, three hydrogen atoms uh, with uh, equal mass and equal distance so that means the moment of inertia to rotate all the three axis are equal okay that is ia equals to iy equals to iz 
okay so whenever we have i a equals to i y equals to i z we call it as spherical top molecule okay right and if you observe ch2 cl2 so it is also tetrahedral but due to the presence of bulk chlorine atoms that means hetero atoms other than the hydrogen atoms so there is some slight deviation of the tetrahedral structure for ch2 cl2 okay that means there is a change of bond angles between the atoms okay so if you observe through the if you spin the uh, if you rotate the molecule through the x axis that is ia okay so then we have two chlorine atoms okay uh, uh, two chlorine atoms and one hydrogen atom okay on the rotating axis so that means we need to put more effort to rotate it because uh, two chlorine atoms have higher mass and if you observe the y axis also we have two chlorine atoms and one hydrogen atom hence we need uh, more effort to rotate the molecule that means in this in these two conditions we can uh, imagine we can think that we have two chlorine atoms and with hydrogen atoms same okay mass is same so if you think like that it should be uh, symmetric uh, that means spheric uh, symmetric topic molecule one of the symmetric top uh, molecule okay if you observe the z axis we have only one chlorine and hydrogen and hydrogen that means less mass is observed on the rotating axis of z okay so that's why we need uh, less effort to rotate it that's why the moment of inertia through the z axis will be less but we here we have some question on x axis and y axis because uh, we have uh, same atoms with same mass but already i told you that uh, due to the two chlorine atoms bulk chlorine atoms on the structure uh, the bond angles uh, deviates from the tetrahedral uh, bond angles okay so that's why x and y also not equal okay so already uh, through the z axis uh, ic is uh, very less when we compared with x and y and if you comp uh, compare x and y axis due to the due to the difference in the band bond angles so the uh, ia and ib also not equal so that's why uh, come totally ia not equal to ib and not equal to ic hence it is asymmetric uh, top molecule it is an example for asymmetric top molecule okay right and if you observe uh, ch3 another option of it and if you observe the observe the ch3 cl and uh, just uh, take the axis through them and if you observe the z axis that means through the cl okay if you observe z axis uh, through the cl uh, then we have only uh, three hydrogen atoms on the rotating axis that is z axis okay and three hydrogen atoms have uh, less mass okay just keep it away uh, that's why we need uh, less uh, moment of inertia to rotate the molecule through the z axis now consider x axis so when you observe the x axis when you rotate the through the x axis we have one chlorine atom that is with uh, higher mass and when you observe uh, through the y axis uh, moment of inertia uh, that means uh, we have one chlorine with higher mass okay but uh, uh, when you observe x axis and y axis we have chlorine hydrogen hydrogen and chlorine hydrogen hydrogen with the same uh, mass and with equal distances okay so that's why y axis and x axis that means moment of inertia needed to rotate the molecule through the x axis and y axis is equal so hence ia equals to ib okay but and uh, when you observe ia equals to ib with ic for ic we need uh, less uh, force to rotate the molecule because uh, three hydrogen atoms are there with less mass hence uh, moment of inertia is also less hence ia equals to ib greater than ic so this is this is called prolate asymmetric top molecule when we have ia equals to ib and greater than ic okay and next uh, uh, tetramethyl methane if you observe it so uh, here is some complication but uh, i have uh, 
uh, gone through the uh, many books and i have researched that car uh, tetramethyl uh, methane belongs to t point group instead of tetrahedral because the possibility of rotations for non equilibrium configuration that means there will be a slight rotation uh, may be possible on the uh, methyl groups okay so that leads to the symmetry topic so uh, unequal symmetry topic with the uh, one axis hence one of the ia ib ic must be less than or greater than the other two so that uh, leads to symmetry top molecule okay right now for linear molecules if you observe carbon dioxide here and uh, if you observe the carbon dioxide and just uh, go through the axis and if you uh, observe the axis through the that is z axis which is going through the oxygen carbon and oxygen so that is moment of inertia ic so we to rotate that there is no other atoms on surrounding of it that means it is easy to rotate it that means we need uh, less efforts to rotate that uh, uh, molecule through the z axis okay but if you observe x axis just imagine uh, if x axis and y axis going through the carbon with two axes and to rotate uh, that two axes and can change their positions okay that means here we need uh, effort to rotate them that means i a i b should be greater than i uh, i c but when you compare compared with the uh, uh through the x axis and y axis that is moment of inertia of ia and ib the moment of inertia which is going through the uh, z axis is very very less that is simply negligible okay when we compared with ia and ib hence because there is no uh, groups or moieties whenever rotating the uh, molecule through the z axis okay uh, to uh, surround of it surrounding of it in uh, 3d positions okay hence ic should be zero and then so if you rotate the uh, through the x axis ia uh, equals to and if you rotate the um, uh, ax, um, that means molecules through the y axis ib okay that means simply ia should be equals to ib here so that's why if ia equals to ib and if ic equals to zero then this kind of uh, 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 are the moment of inertia relations are considered as considered for linear molecules okay right so this is about uh, moment of inertia and uh, thank you so if you are interested uh, so please uh, get course on chemistry.online and uh, i'm completely focusing on uh, june uh, 2018 csr net so i will work hard Uh, to give you the success and uh, will uh, will do research for your success and be be uh, confident uh, believe on on us and will give you will provide you more and more standard uh, lectures for csr and gate thank you